Good morning. Welcome to my little show. I'm going to, this is a little crash course in the spiritual nature of things, of God's people, and what's taking place today. I'm going to go back in history a little bit, and I'm going to run forward into, into today's reality. Um, once upon a time, Mother Earth was um, beautiful and clean. Um, there was no, there was nothing evil on the planet. There was nothing evil in the garden. And um, things got corrupted. It's hard to comprehend the fall of Adam and Eve, the space wars, the fall of Atlantis, all being the same thing. And the manipulation of today's people and, and today's tribes to make them think that they are separated from, from God and from creation and, and Mother Earth, um, it, you know, is the agenda, you know, and destroying uh, the consciousness of understanding who they are and everything. So, you know, the mind, the mind, the human mind has been corrupted by the system, by the beast and, you know, the dark magic, the black magic uh, that has been pulled over people's eyes ever since um, the fall of Atlantis. You know, the whole thing with Adam and Eve falling out of the tree and all this. You know, it was, in reality, the truth was, you know, Lucifer, who um, wanted to make, you know, wanted to be like God. And um, you can't have that. So he was isolated. They were isolated. All the fallen angels, all the demons were isolated um, from creating because they are not allowed to create. They have no creation um, elements. And that goes the same with Archangel Michael. There's no, when you are a higher vibration up in heaven, you are of both creation, the perfect balance of the masculine and the feminine. And there is no, you know, the Baphomet, the, um, transgender type of thing because that in reality in this lower denser reality is what the fallen ones have tried to create because up in up in um the higher realms you have adam and eve up in the tree you know none of this shit is biblical it's your creation it's just people are idiots you know they you know everything falls under the sun as being religious because it's oh it's in the bible and you don't want to be religious and all this it's a manipulation. And so, in reality, you know, you have the body of Adam and all this stuff. And when Adam fell out of the tree, um, he spit out his spirit, his feminine spirit of Mother Earth. And the fallen ones attempted to um, take over Adam's body, in, in, in a sense, you know, whatever Satan and all this shit. And, you know, it's been a manipulation of humanity's DNA ever since the fall of Adam and Eve. Um, this is where, at the beginning, after the fall, they, you know, started manipulating the DNA. They started because they were kicked out of heaven. And, you know, they literally coming through the Divine Mother's portal. Because the mother is the, is the creator, you know, the, the children come from her, you know, and so you have the porthole of divine mother, everybody and everything comes through this porthole, you, me, them, everything, Jesus, you know, mother earth, everything is created through the mother, you know, and so you have all this creation stuff and you know, up in higher realms, up in heaven, and what happens in heaven happens on earth. So you, if you have a breakup of a family up in heaven, you're going to have a breakup of the family on earth. That's why your reality is like this today, because Adam and Eve being married, you know, say up in the tree, you know, under God's supervision and God creating Gaia and Mother Earth, you know, Gaia Sophia being the mother 
planet, Mother Earth, who gives birth to everybody and everything and the beauty and the nature of the old ancient forest. You know, if you think of the Nordic times and you think of the Celtic times and the unicorns and the, and the fairies and everything, that's the garden. That's the garden of Eden because that's the beauty and um, that's the consciousness that Eve, the tree, Adam, the Cernunos, Adam being Cernunos of the, of the forest, because he being the first man being created from God, um, you know, people have been manipulated and not knowing anything, taken away from all of these timelines because in reality you weren't told the truth. And it's not a distant place. It's not like it took place thousands of, you know, it might have taken place thousands of years ago, whatever. But heaven is right here and heaven has no time. And, and there's heaven in the center of all of these timelines, you know, and if you're in the center of this timeline, like Buddha, you can project into any timeline uh, spiritually by having the knowledge of the truth and the knowledge of history. And, and so when you, when, when you dabble into this stuff, you research it all and you're like, oh, well, this is a lie. This is fake. This is a lie. And, you know, so it's just being able to consciously be able to look at it all this is the mark of this is the mate this is the matrix you know because you don't know your creation and you don't know your parents and people wait for jesus to come out of a cloud and so you have this whole thing with adam and eve and you have um people don't know where the garden's at they don't know where paradise is at they don't know any of this stuff because they're not able to consciously think about what life would be like in a better place because this better place is is inside of you and this is god's creation and it's been taken away and so you have this whole thing with adam and eve and you have all this ancient mystical stuff egypt and babylon and biblical times and asia and india and you know so all this stuff so there's all this ancient history okay and you have black magic and you have white magic and good and evil and everything like that and the people don't can't comprehend magic today they don't understand because they have been suppressed into looking at everything outside of themselves as in needing to look at something material so it's um becomes visible in their mind because they can't see anything spiritual. The people can't see anything. They don't have any knowledge or any wisdom of what it used to be like a couple hundred years ago or a couple thousand years ago with the knowledge of the Greeks and all the history that has been wiped away from you. Because what I have been researching, what I've gotten into is a lot of scriptures, no, scriptures are not biblical. I've gotten into a lot of books um, from the 1800s and early 1900s before uh, World War II starting. And, you know, there was a whole other um, occult. Let's say you, you had all the black magic, you had the Kaluminati, and you had all this demonic bloodline, you know, that came out of ancient history. Because back in history, you know, they say, oh, the Adam and Eve and all this stuff, and Jew, the Jews and whatever. But... The bottom line is when you have the possession of humanity and you have all this, it originated with the theft of Adam's body. Manipulating the cells, manipulating the DNA uh, to be able to fit their needs into um, the body. Because you have the, the way that this reality is today and the energy that comes through um, through the spiritual world being um, Christ energy or being Lucifer energy. These are, let's say, impulses that they're, they're, they're pushed because in reality you are, you know, every man being Adam, let's say, every man being Adam, 
and every woman being Eve. This is like, you know, it is what it is. And so you have that. And so if a man, you know, saying man, you know, and there's the whole, old, the whole thing with the tarot cards and the upside down man and the lower realms and the higher realms and people can't comprehend that spiritually. You know, the pentagram and, and the star, um, the pentagram and the upside down pentagram and, you know, trying to keep the world upside down because Adam fell. So, you know, if Adam fell, they try and keep him dark in the underworld. You know, and this is the consciousness. Adam is the consciousness of all of humanity. Well, the consciousness of the man. If the man chooses to be in the lower realms, or if the man chooses to be in the higher realms. But see, let's put it this way. In the occult teachings, in the positive teachings, not the Luciferian shit, but if a man understands that he has fallen out of, out of the tree and that he has woken up on the ground, and he's not able to move because his spirit was drained. Um, if he's able, if he's consciously able to spiritually get back into that tree, let's say, this is the Buddha path. It's re-emerging back in the tree of where you came from, you know, spiritually. And that's what this whole Buddha path is. And you got Buddha with, under the Bodhi tree, you know, but they, you know, and then you got the serpent and all that. So it's... There's different timelines, there's mixtures of spiritual teachings, you know, and it's all connected. But the people like today and the Christians and everything being manipulated by this fake teachings and thinking that the serpent is evil, that's in the Bible. It's just a manipulation of all the scriptures because everything is a theft because you have the, the Naga of India, the, the serpent family, um, the dragon kings, and you know, and all this stuff, you know, the, that's why in this reality you have copies of everything. Everything is a copy because they can't, uh, the fallen ones aren't able to create their own reality, let's say, um, away from heaven. They're not able to do anything um, away from God because God is all creation. God, Mother Earth, Father Scott, let's see. Divine Mother and Divine Father. Your Divine Parents, God is a male, God is a female, Creator. You have to have both. Just like in this reality, you have to have both. So, um, I lost my train of thought. And so you have the, the creation cycle, you know, and um, brain fart. <laughs> <laughs> be right back. All right. Let's see here. Yeah, we're back on. All right. You know, it's this whole creation cycle. All right, so we're going to move forward, you know, out of the Adam and Eve because, you know, the Adam and Eve, and you think of the Adam, and then you, th you think of, okay, well, his spirit got kicked out, and he needs to bring his spirit back in, okay? This is uniting the man with the female spirit, you know, and him rising back up and being conscious of his reality. So we're going to move, you know, away from that. Um, because if you think of the movie Pinocchio, and if Pinocchio, um, Pinocchio has no spirit, you know what I mean? And that's the puppet, you know, and so you look at humanity and everyone's, walking around unconsciously, not knowing anything, following, um, doing what they're told. Um, so, you know, you move away from that creation story and, you know, and everything like that. Um, and the, and people being lost in translation in this reality, you know, like, you know, not knowing heaven, not knowing God, not knowing anything. And so, moving forward, you know, out of creation, and 
you know, whatever you think of Egypt and the biblical times and all that stuff. Um, but in those, you know, run through that real quick in those time periods, um, that's, you know, you had the, all the wars, all, all the battles that took place over there. Um, but, um, the manipulation of the people not understanding what's under their feet in America is the biggest, um, lie, um, because it's literally all under your feet. And so you have this whole creation cycle and you had, see when, when the spirit of Adam was within him, this was the perfect DNA strand of, of human, of the human. Because if you kick out part of your DNA strand and you replace it with something else, um, you're being taken away from the true um, God's creation. You know, because that's what their agenda is today. They're trying to create this um, Adam and Eve in the tree. Because in reality, the core of the tree would be the DNA strand. It's the rainbow serpent. And so, them in this reality with their technology and what they've been doing ever since the fall of manipulating the DNA to um, create their own beast. Transhumanism, man, woman, you know, trans, you know, so... That's the agenda. That's the agenda within that is going on from the demonic realities. And as they say, you know, people have been taken away so far. They've been taken so far away from from the truth. And literally, even though they're, they're walking on Mother Earth, they have no consciousness of her. They don't turn their mind to understanding where she's at because the people today the people today um, don't know what they have lost when they don't you know they don't know what has been taken away from them they, they look at the first nation and they know that the the spirit of the first nation was taken away from them but the people today don't understand what it was so if you don't know what was taken away from you or you know if you don't know what you had or you don't know what you're missing you'll never know what you gain what you can gain by understanding this stuff because once you understand the truth all of the truth you're going to come into the presence of creation because the people today, they're not going down the path of creation. They're not walking, they're not going back to the garden, to paradise. They're not attempting to reach a higher vibration, um, a, higher, a higher frequency. You know, the religion has done a number on them, and that's, and that's a sad part of everything. But... When you know that re re when you know that religion is a lie, and you don't want anything to do with it, there should be a consciousness of going. Well, well, let me let me search for the truth. Let me let me see where the truth is at. You know, but it, you know then it, what they did over the time period is they give you these uh, storylines. And, you know, and they give you a little bit of information, just enough information to fulfill your, your want of a conspiracy or, you know, something that they're hiding, like Area 51 or, you know, what a, you know, Bigfoot and, you know, the Bermuda Triangle. This is all stuff that happened, you know, the original conspiracy before the Internet, you know, and then, then you got all kinds of craziness, you know, about aliens and, you know, stuff. But it's all manipulation because the reality that you're in is that you're in the fall. And if you know nothing of the DNA, you're not going to be able to comprehend that there have been a serpent race 
a demonic Luciferian serpent race who has snuck, in, snuck into God's DNA, snuck into God's creation. And that's what this is when it comes down to the fall of Adam and Eve. Adam fell out of the tree, whatever it be, you know, there's, you know, <laughs> so, God, I can't even, oh man, so, you have this creation cycle, and you know, Satan and everything, so the impulses that come through the man, you know, and the woman, because, you know, it goes both ways, you have the man who can either be a good man, or he can be an evil man, but the you, you can be both, but the but the problem is, is that the lower man, the perverted man, the Luciferian man, um, look into your reality, and look how bad it has gotten with the men and the women and the families and the breakup of the family and the perversion and the children and all this stuff. There's no more marriage, there's no more togetherness, there's no more community, you know, the fathers leave the house, you know, whatever. And, and so, you have what happens in heaven, happens on earth, and reuniting, because they try to take Mother Earth away. They try to take Gaia away. And if they took Gaia away, we would, we would all, all, everything would be destroyed. There would be no more creation cycle. There would be there would be nothing. No more trees. No more animals. No more you. No more living. And people don't understand outside of this reality. You know, they're like, oh well, who cares? Whatever. You know, they don't understand heaven. They don't understand hell because they've never been given the teachings to understand it. Because you're born into the Luciferian realm, and if you were why would they give you teachings if they're trying to hijack you, hijack your soul and your spirit and kill everything under creation? You know, and that's what it comes down to. So the people consciously are stupid. They, and, you know, they laugh at the monkey. They laugh at the ape and, 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 you know, and shit like that. But animals are smarter than you. You're just dumb. You, ignorance and greed has made Americans stupid. They think that they know everything, you know, if they go to church or if they ignore everything, that nothing will ever affect them. And that's the problem with all this shit. They have no idea of what the truth is. None. And what's coming down on this earth plane right now is nothing to mess with. It is nothing to mess with. And people need to be spiritually balanced, spiritually prepared for what is to come. They need to be spiritually prepared. It's not see, the ones who have tried to create in this fall are going to be wiped off the planet. There may be a lot of death of God's people because this is a spiritual war. It always has been, but the people can't comprehend it because if they think that they're not religious, none of this history shit affects them. They pick and choose what they want to know about. They pick and choose this information over that information because if something doesn't resonate with them, they're not going to look at it because they're suppressing their heart. And when they suppress their heart, they're suppressing their truth of speaking about this reality. But what it ends up being is that they have no knowledge of this reality. If you look at all the events, all of the events that has taken place over these years, one right after another. Each event takes them farther, farther, farther away. Because they're not coming back to themselves, their spirit of understanding that they've been taken away from heaven. You were born through Divine Mother's porthole. You came through 
the creation cycle. You came through the Divine Mother, through Mother Earth, and your mother. And you, you are here. And what? Dumb as dirt. Dumb as dirt because you're stuck in a Luciferian realm being bombarded with frequencies, with high technology, high frequencies into your mind of neg negative, negative thinking patterns, which when your mind is corrupted, your heart gets corrupted because your mind in reality is attached to everything outside of here. It's attached to all of these situations that happen in your life because everything is tied to energy. And that's part of the problem. Coming back and separating yourself of understanding of who you are, truly who you are, where you come from, and understanding that you've been lied to. You've been lied to, you've been played. All Americans have been played, well, everybody. And when Americans wake up to how much they've been played, it's gonna kick them in right in their ass. Because they worship, the, they unconsciously worship the beast. Unconsciously worship the beast. And it is what it is. You know, we've all been there. But God's taken us out of this fall. God's taken us out of this fall. And that's part of where, you know, the men lifting up the women. Helping, you know, the consciousness of the men were there they would be able to help them up because they're all in the fall. What you see out there today is they're coming for your children. They're coming for your babies. They want the freaking babies because God's take, God has kicked them out of the spiritual world. God is putting the spirit back into the people. Whatever you want to think because your spirit is not balanced. Your soul's not bound because you, you've been hijacked. I know you can't comprehend this, but it, it, it's true. Your DNA, your manipulation, the inbreding of the tribes back in the day and what has come out of the fall of manipulating God's people with animals and stuff. And it, it, it's, it's beyond anyone's comprehension. You know, and it's just like the people who fantasize of this um, horrible shit every day. You know, they go into the evil Halloween versus the beautiful Halloween. You know, and they're, 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 they're controlled. You know, they're literally in the matrix and a lot of people know that they're in the matrix but still don't try and get out of it because they think that they know enough. They think that they know enough that, oh, okay, yeah, I, I don't want anything to do with this. It doesn't matter. You're in it. Your, your body is in it. You think your mind is out of it because you're in the suburbs or you're in the mountains and you're away from all this stuff? No. Mm -mm. This stuff's coming. This stuff is coming, and it's coming hard because there's a porthole opening. And God's coming, and they want into this portal, and it's not going to happen. God's kicking the, the demons. God's destroying these freaking things. This whole entire thing. But it's leading up to a point where the people need to see. And the, the soul of the people need to be shocked. Because the people, they like to be shocked by entertainment. By horror. Zombie movies and zombie apocalypse and stuff like that. Um... Artificial intelligence movies, AI movies, you know, the Terminator and virus movies and, and all this good stuff. So they unconsciously are manifesting the demonic reality. They, they're choosing not to go into the mystical forest of what has been taken away from them. Because they refuse to want something better in their life. And they think that everything is going to be... Whatever this reality is. Because this is not a kosher reality. Women go missing. Children go missing. Animals are killed. The, the, the earth is polluted. But 
you know, you have these cities and you have all this poison and everything and people, you know, so I'm going to get into a little bit of this technology um, because if you compare a demonic army, see, the, the problem is, you know, you have all this medieval time shit and the people today, they think that it, for some reason it doesn't exist anymore. They think that this medieval shit has disappeared. That all the evil that took place back then has just disappeared. There's no more the killing of women and sacrificing babies and drinking of the blood and none of that. It's just in the movies. And see, and that's a big part of it. And that's the manipulation of their manipulated fantasy world thinking that everything comes out of Hollywood. Because you have Hollywood and, there, and it's like when, when these movies started coming out, these slasher films back in the day, it's kind of like they tell you that it's fake. So you go to the movies and you're going to go watch this film, but at the end of the day, in reality, they just sacrificed someone on film. They just killed somebody on film because that's what they do. And they tell you that it's fake. You know, this is how long this shit's been going on. And you get entertained by it and you get possessed by these demons that just, you know, did what they did. And, and this is all because you've been mind controlled. There's a spell casted over you. There's a spell casted over all of humanity, you know, and it doesn't really come off until you fall. Until you reach the darkness of your soul. Because the darkness of the soul is where you meet Lucifer. Well, Lucifer is no longer. He's, he's, that's done. These are all minions and you're seeing the end. This is the end. Because everything is being removed from the spiritual world. God's spiritual world. Everything is being removed from the spiritual world. Um, and it will become visible in the 3D world. Because it's already been here. They. The fallen ones. And they who manifested this thing. You know, I'm not going to say that I wasn't part of it. But it comes into a consciousness of stopping it. Saving the children, saving the women, and saving the animals. You can't see. Truthfully. The whole truth. When you only know a little bit. And you have done no research. Because when they talk of ascension. And they talk of the Buddha path. And going back to heaven. Or Jacob's ladder. Or any of this stuff. No one's able to come. No one is able to get through. These realms. Spiritually. Without going through the demonic realms. Because you're in the fall. So you're trying to get back up in the tree. You got to go through the ones who are in your body. You need to cleanse yourself spiritually to return to the Christ vibration. That's literally lifting yourself up out of the lower realms, your lower chakras, up into your heart and up into your mind. Because your mind is controlled by watching all these horror movies, watching all this stuff. And that's just what it is. And so you get into the technology and you get into these movies and all the stuff is here. Okay. But we're going to go, I'm touch base on one of my visions and these end times. Okay. Because you have this demonic army that has come out of history and it's in the movies and it's all, you know, what the tribes were battling back in the biblical times. And, you know, in the movie 300, for example, and, you know, into, um, today, like all this stuff is still here, but you only know what's on the surface and where was I, um, the tribes and everything. So if you look at that timeline back, all of the timelines, you can look at all the timelines and there's always been war and there's always been a, a dark army. And so that dark army coming into today would not be just of flesh. 
it would not just be of like giants and stuff, you know, because that's old history. That type of stuff um, is old. So there's new technology. There's new stuff. And this comes down into the robots. This comes into the artificial intelligence. Um, trans, you know, the man and the woman being put together with a robot. You know, transhumanism and stuff. And having the Lucifer um, elements or the demonic elements um, put into the machines because they have been wanting to, to merge with machines for a long time and they think that they can live forever because it just it is what it is because they, they have no creation cycle and everything is a copy okay when you think of Lucifer and Satan and all these top ones and whatever their image be because of shape shifting and all this stuff creating trying to create their own shit everything that you see today one is a theft of God's creation two is um, the human if you look at this lifestyle out there they're all everyone looks the same if you look at, you know, what was created out of the technology world with the women, with the um, today's um, music type thing, you know, the, the whole image of, you know, whatever they, they look like and the, and the colored people in the city and everything. It's that trying to create, you know, that comes down to not being yourself. And so then creating this whole image through Hollywood and the makeup and the hair and the dressing and, you know, and all this craziness stuff, it all falls under the category of the false image. Um, because the bodies end up um, being taken over. And, you know, a lot of women today, you know, in this reality, they see that and they're like, ooh, because it's what is within them, you know, they're not on the, on, on, on the God path, on the Christ path. Um, but this technology, um, you know, is, is what it is. And I've had visions of, I, I like to call them the black helmets. They are the black helmets. They are a demonic army of today. There's that. And, you know, you can have all this other stuff that, you know, comes along with um, a demonic army that was um, put on airplanes and that is coming across the border as we speak. You know, and all this stuff, and they have the, um, you know, like a born supremacy, where they're, you know, you have someone who is two personalities, where they're programmed to um, carry out things that are um, not kosher. And, like, for example, they have, like, their closet is full, you know, bombs and stuff, and, you know, and the guns and all kind of crazy shit. And so you have like all that. And so you think of an assassin, you think of um, the end times and they're gonna try and take as many people with them as they can. And so, um, you know, people don't even, oh you know, God, man. People gotta get off their, you know, their high horse because this shit's coming down and the people like in the cities that their lifestyle, they think that they can continue on with um, being entertained by all of this shit. Mm -mm. It's not gonna happen. You know, I've never been to church. I don't even really read the Bible. You know, I didn't even know what the word repent meant, you know, with the, you know, at the time. But now I understand because, you know, I'm in communication with higher, higher spirits. And, you know, having certain visions and insight on things um, like these black helmets and what is actually behind this whole thing. Because you have this black goo, you have this artificial intelligence that they have been putting into the people. And this stuff is like, you know, the magnets and everything. And, you know, the Pinocchio controlling Adam's body. That's the, that's the whole thing. You know, they want to control Adam's body. 
and you know you're moving out of that and um you know whatever you know going on in today's reality you can't save everybody you can't you know there's nothing you can do for these people where this is about saving the creation cycle about saving mother earth and there are a lot of people on this planet that are, have chosen to um not turn to god and, and they will um they will suffer because they're ignoring the truth their hearts in pain and they're ignoring the truth and if they're not speaking the truth on the animals mother earth and the children you're not going to come in contact with god you're going to be on the lower threshold because there is a threshold in between realities there's a ladder but there's a guard there's a guard on the threshold that won't allow anyone through until the time comes and until he thinks that you're able to step over the threshold and that's this consciousness you know this is the pendulum swinging back and forth this is the circle this is the sun cross and you being in the middle of it and watching the and, and watching the world spin around because you're in a technology world you're in the matrix what do you not understand about that you look at it you read it you watch it you watch these movies and they're like ooh the matrix but in reality what is it about the matrix that relates to today it's all come in the fruitation because when that movie came out it was the beginning of technology now we're coming into a different time period where this artificial intelligence has come to life it's in the terminator but the consciousness you know and then you go into the, all this alice in wonderland and um, Wizard of Oz, you know, and there's so many, so much hidden information that, you know, and so chaos, fire, this is spiritual, there's a spiritual warfare that we're in, and the spiritual warfare is going to come with material fire, it's going to come with chaos, it's going to come with sacrificing and murder and starvation and everything under the sun because it's already been happening it's already here it's been happening there's nothing kosher about this country this co country was built on it was built on lucifer fake christianity the the the, the, the um church and white people that came here and corrupted the first nation so this technology what'll be behind the helmet the motorcycle helmet will be an artificial intelligence blacked out face because god will be present god will be present the demons will be here in artificial intelligence there'll be a fire They'll see heaven, but they won't be able to access it because they refused to look at the children. This has nothing to do with religion. This has to do with the children and the animals. And these fucking people sit in these cities and these people sit in their suburbs with their thumb up their ass. That is going to be their downfall. That is their fucking downfall. Their dollar is going to be taken away. Their movies, their sports. God is going to destroy everything. He's going to take it all away from you. Because you've all turned away. Have a good day.